Why firstborns? More responsible. They took more photographs with, of you. <laughs> they took more time with you. They raised the bar for you. Firstborns are more responsible. Most great leaders, firstborn. How many middle children we got in here? Middle children. Let me see your hands. Middle children. Statistical fact. Lowest divorce rate is among middle children. Y'all know why? We just make things work. <laughs> and, it, and everything's fine. How many lastborns we got in here? You conniving little snitches, you. Uh, yeah. We've got y'all figured out. He said, Dad, I looked through the rear view mirror and that sucker was passing me on the wrong side of the road. I said, what did you do? He said, I hit the brakes and let it pass. He said, I know it, Mom. I've got to get my ham and biscuit out of my pocket. After the game today, everyone's going crazy. I look out in the infield, you're wandering around asking people this question, what was going on? He said, I was trying to find out who won the game. I was in a position to catch an earlier flight home, which is always good. And so I walk up to the southwest counter and I say, I say, ma'am. She said, yes, sir. I said, is there a possibility you can get me on this earlier flight? And she said, well, Mr. McCall, I don't know. Let me see. We have a window to get your bags on. Let me see what I can do. And she starts typing and she frowns. And I say, what do you think? She said, well, I don't know. She types a little more. And suddenly, at that time I had a Blackberry. Suddenly my Blackberry vibrates. And I open it up and it is an email from Southwest Airlines telling me my itinerary has been changed. I look back at her and I said, you did it. She said, I did. And then she looked in her screen and said, I did. Here's the deal, y'all. She was doing it, but I knew it before she knew it and she was doing it. I do not need information that fast. <laughs> Any of y'all felt like you've been running lately? If you've been shocked, it's important you allow yourself the time to work through the process because if you don't and you bury those emotions, they're going to come back and haunt you. Sometimes you just have to let it go. It may not be right, and you may have been wronged, but sometimes you just have to let it go. Let me promise you, in a world where we're trying to keep our lives in some kind of balance, our tendency is to sprint. And life is not a sprint, it's a marathon.